I'm here in my study here thinking about um, skeptics, you know, and the kind of challenges they offer. Uh, and one of the most common ones is, gee, if God would just show himself, if he would just do a miracle, if he'd show up here in front of me, if he'd do something that couldn't be explained by any naturalistic explanation, then I'd believe. And to be honest with you, I never trust those kinds of proclamations. Because I think of Jesus' own life, and I think of John chapter 11, for example, where Jesus is uh, spending some time in some outlying areas with his disciples, but he knows that Lazarus is sick. And he delays, it appears, long enough for Lazarus to die. And he does die. And then he finally goes back to where Lazarus is at. And, of course, everybody's upset. But Jesus calls Lazarus forth from the tomb. Lazarus, come forth. And... Lazarus is raised from the dead, and you would not believe the response of the crowd, actually in two ways. On the one hand, lots of people believed, but those people who were inclined not to believe didn't, even with the resurrection of Lazarus. In fact, they took it a step further. The chief priests and the Pharisees decided uh, this miraculous act of raising Lazarus from the dead is a powerful evidence that is drawing all the people to Jesus. We've got to do something. And that's when they started to plot to take Jesus' life. Actually, they've been plotting before then, but they really put their mind to it at this point. So they want to destroy Jesus because he worked this miracle. But it's worse than that. There's another piece of evidence they have to get rid of. Lazarus is still walking around. The man that was dead and is now alive and so in, in uh, John chapter 12, you can, around verse 10, you can read about how the Pharisees not only plotted to kill Jesus, they plotted to kill Lazarus as well. Now this is what I call unbelievable unbelief. Jesus himself said if a person even comes back from the grave, people won't believe in him. That's how hardened many people's hearts are. And I think for the skeptic who says, yeah, if God would just appear in front of me, I'd go to God. Uh, that's not the case. As one wag put it, he'd probably go to a psychiatrist. One of my early teachers in Christianity says, the sun melts butter, but it hardens clay. So true in this case.